was sitting around not doing very much when Damien Jones, producer, sent me um, a postcard print of a painting that featured uh, a mixed race woman. It was an 18th century painting alongside her white counterpart. But what was incredible about this painting was that they were depicted as equals. They were both in silks, both in beautiful jewels. I was fascinated by this postcard. I wanted to know who this woman was, what was her story, and even more importantly in some ways, who had commissioned this painting. Oh. oh, clever. I'd read several uh, incarnations of the script and, and when I read um, Amma's version and, and, and saw all the wonderful nuances that she had brought into the story and I was really inspired by that and, and the fact that this woman really existed. Um, and to do a period drama for me, I've never done one before, I've never really had the opportunity. And lots of my friends have been in tons of period dramas from Downton Abbey. Oh, actor to yeah. never have done a period drama. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What I love about this movie is the way in which all the kind of social constraints and nuances that, were, that existed at that time are in the movie. You know, usually you see a costume drama and they're more or less the same as we are, but with, you know, funny clothes and dri <laughs> riding around on horses. Yeah. Whereas, in fact, every instant of their lives was ruled by status. I was very interested in the woman's position, not only in Belle's case, is she of mixed race, but she's also a girl. So that any girl, any woman, had no future unless she was married. And the character I play is Lady Mary Murray, who is not married. The so social code at the time was so stringent that even Lady Mary, if there was an extra man coming to um, dinner, would not be included for dinner. I love the progressions of the characters in this story. People are changed. They have to think differently. Playing a character who considers themselves to be thoughtful, moral, a good person, and who is completely, unthinkingly, down the line racist, that's a, a mental shift that we all had to make. I mean, Emma made it incredibly easy uh, in creating a, a very immersive world. The costumes, obviously, and the physicalities. We had a great bit of James Norton and I did a wonderful bit of uh, etiquette training. Is that the correct <laughs> yeah. terminology? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, no, it didn't. It took him years. Um, but walking with you know, correct posture and so forth, which is slightly foreign to me, but it certainly helped. Um, getting... well, wearing those clothes probably helps too. Kind of yeah, certainly so. And I know we got the light end of the stick, the gentleman rather than the. Uh, the... Well, that's always the case. It <laughs> is true. It was it's, it was true now, and it's true then uh, as well. How would you describe Alma as a director? I would say she's a genius. <laughs> I mean, from the script, no, no, really, I mean, like, she's so, um, so direct in what she wanted, and I don't think there's any fat on the movie whatsoever. I think she brought a South London sensibility to it, <laughs> just grounded it <laughs> in it. Well, somehow. clearly she was the right woman for the job. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.